Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today we're taking another look at these little birdies. This is the stamp and die set from Simpler Cards and Paper Craft issue 216. In the last video that I created using this set, uh, I'd lost, lost the footage where I'd actually created the bird sort of put it together. So I thought that I would create another video just sort of showing you how to actually make these birds. I'm going to be making four in total. Uh, I'm just going to be copying the birds that are on the back of the packaging that I just showed you then. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can build these um, just to create sort of slightly different looks. But like I said, I'm going to be um, creating three kinds of birds. So on the packaging, we've got the finch, the blue tit and the robin. And what I'm going to be doing is using three different mediums to actually create these birds. So for the first one, I'm going to be making a robin. And for this, I'm going to be creating the bird or creating the pieces from coloured cardstock. So there isn't actually a coordinate, there aren't actually dies um, for every piece of this bird. Uh, so you can't sort of just die cut it and sort of put it all together. But again, I wanted to figure out a way of how you could just use coloured cardstock if that's what you wanted. And the way that I came up with was to heat emboss the stamped image with clear embossing powder. So I've got three colours of cardstock here. And again, I'm just following the kind of instructions and the, the colour schemes that they've got on the back of the packaging. So I've got a sort of chocolate brown, I've got a light grey, and I've got an orange as well. And you can see that I've taken a stamp that I needed for this particular section of the bird. And then I've clear uh, used some clear ink. I've stamped that onto the uh, orange cardstock and I just coated it then in clear embossing powder. I've melted that and you can see that it's given a little bit of a darker colour. It has added all of that texture that the stamp actually has because it's got some detail on there. You can see with the stamp that I'm using now, you can see that bit of detail. And it's also given that really lovely shine that embossing actually gives you. So this is just, again, a slightly different look if you do want to use coloured cardstock. So this is me now just creating the sort of back portion, um, sort of the, the main piece of the, the robin itself. So you can see that I stamped my image in some clear embossing ink. I purchased recently this Simon Says Stamp Clear. Uh, it's a really juicy ink pad, obviously it's brand new um, and it's stamped really, really well. And you can see now I'm just melting that with my heat tool and you can see, like I said, it's darkening that chocolate brown cardstock, keeping all of that extra detail in there and also then it's just given a really lovely shine so there's not many pieces that actually bring this robin together there's uh three sort of body stamps you then got the mouth and the feet and then you need to die cut two wings which i'm going to be doing again out of the same chocolate brown cardstock so there are sort of different elements that you can bring together um, and it just then creates the full bird. But what I really love about this stamp set is you do have sort of the outline dies, which we will be using. You've also then got all of those detailed dies in there as well. And you've got sort of different stamps to obviously create different kinds of birds. It's not just sort of a generic bird. You can really sort of tailor this. If you're making a card or a project for someone who loves bird watching, this is gonna be perfect. So you can see that I've got the two wing dies. I've just popped some washi tape uh, to hold those in place on that chocolate brown cardstock. And I've also die cut the bird body uh, just from some white cardstock. And this is gonna be my base where I can then uh, attach the pieces to kind of build the bird. It's a good idea to have a base already, just so you can kind of see where everything needs to go to line it up um, and just to kind of get that shape right. And I'm just using then my purple tape runner just to attach these pieces. It does get a little bit fiddly when you get to the smaller pieces, um, but it does. It is. It's an easy adhesive for things like this because you do have. Um, you know, if you haven't pressed it down, you've got a little bit of time just to lift it back up again if you do need to move it. So you've seen there. Uh, I'd put it just a little bit too low, so I took it off and just repositioned it. 
So like I said, because there's no coordinating dies for all of these pieces, I did just um, fussy cut these out. So right up against the um, edge, you will notice there's some white gaps where it doesn't kind of go perfectly. To be honest, I didn't really take my time cutting this out. Maybe I should have. Um, so if I was doing this for a, a specific project, I was making it this way. I would make sure to take my time, make sure I cut it out properly and just so everything can fit together perfectly. The other thing you could do as well, if you wanted to go down the heat embossing route and you've got coloured embossing powder, you could of course then stamp these uh, body sort of parts or sections with the different colours, you could stamp them uh, one by one onto this white base with that clear ink and then use some of your embossing powders as well. That would give you the same kind of look that you're seeing here with the detail and with then that embossed uh, sort of glaze um, that you do get but then it's all just going to be one layer and it will sort of fit together really nicely. So that is another option. So you can see that I tucked the little feet. So this was actually the only bird that I ended up actually stamping the feet for. Um, but I've just tucked that under that gray piece from its belly. And now I'm just attaching the wings as well. So like I said, you can see the uh, packaging just to the left and that robin. And I'm just kind of copying what I'm seeing there to try and get the sort of placement of things just right. But of course, you know, these are your creations. They don't have to be realistic. It could have one ring, a wing. It could have four wings if you really wanted it to. Um, but it's really great to sort of have something to reference. So the last thing I've got to pop on here is going to be the beak. Um, I did get a little bit lost with this because it's such a tiny stamp. Um, I kind of forgot which way it went. So um, the beak ends up looking quite big in comparison to the rest of the bird. Um, but like I said, if you just take your time, if you were to, if you were to do this, take the time, make sure you sort of fussy cut it um, sort of as best as you can. And then it should all just fit in perfectly. But you can see really just how easy that is um, to bring this bird together. And then just for a little bit of uh, dimension, I'm going to pop an eye on and I'm just using then the black ebony uh, nouveau crystal drop. And that's just perfect for adding then that eye. And you can see here, so again, it's not perfect. Like I said, you've got some of those white gaps as well, but just showing you a different way of being able to create these birds. So for the next bird, I'm going to be creating the blue tit. I actually ended up creating two of these because I want to show you two different ways that you can use this. So again, like I said at the beginning of this video, the reason why I'm creating this video um, specifically is because I'd lost the footage of creating the bird uh, in that first video. So uh, here I'm going to be creating two, so kind of recreating what I made for that video. Um, so to begin with, this has got a lot more sort of parts and stamps um, to bring together but you can see that I'm just using the packaging as the reference and I'm just picking off all of the stamps that I need. Um, you can see I've popped them onto this acrylic block but I have put it into my stamping platform because a couple of the um, stamps are using the same colour so why not just stamp them at the same time. So to begin with, I'm going to be stamping the beak and the body. And so I'm using my prism ink colours here, and this is the green apple. So I think in the previous video, I used my Distress Oxides. I wanted to see what it looked like using um, some dye-based inks. So that's why I pulled out my prism. I've got a good range here as well, and it seemed to stamp really nicely. I did have to stamp them a couple of times to get that solid colour, but I think it worked nicely. So next up, we've got to stamp three images. So we've got one of the, um, I'm guessing it's the tail, not a wing. Um, so we've got the tail and then we've got the little piece that's gonna go on the head and then a, um, a slightly bigger piece, which will be on the uh, wing itself. So I'm stamping this in the blue lagoon. Then for the wing itself, I'm stamping this in nautical blue. So this is a darker blue color. Then the next piece I'm going to be is actually the head. So you, you can't quite see this colour. It's a light grey. So this is the grey mist. Um, I ended up stamping that quite a few times just to get it a little bit darker. But even afterwards, I'm still not sure you can really kind of see it. 
but then you've also got that sort of black piece as well which again is part of the head um, I just stamped that then into some midnight black so you've got um, sort of that nice black outline so again I die cut then two bodies that I can um, actually assemble my beard onto so you can see that I've put all of those pieces that I just stamped into that tray just to keep them all together and I have fussy cut them and die cut what I could but the other way that you could do this instead of cutting it uh, sorry instead of stamping it in separate pieces you can actually just stamp this as a single layer and then just add the few um, additional bits like the wings that can be die cut so I die cut a extra body and I'm just creating the exact same bird in the exact same colors but just showing you that you can um, just arrange these and you can use them uh, I don't know probably more as they're intended to be used to create sort of a flatter image so you can see I've gone in with that same green apple for the body uh, I've stamped the head in that gray mist I then stamped the black piece which is for the head You've got that light blue in the blue lagoon, um, which is a little bit right on the top of the head. So for the wings, again, so these are the parts then that you do need to die cut. So die cut the wing again and stamped in that nautical blue. Added then that little piece just on the top in the blue lagoon. And then all you need to do is just attach the wing to the body. So there's, again, there's lots of different ways that you can use this. This is probably the easiest way of using it because you are literally just having it as a single layer and you're just lining up the stamps uh, almost like a layering die if you like but um, it all just sort of fits together really nicely and you've seen literally just how easy that was so now i'm going to go back to the pieces that i did a uh, fussy cut and die cut and like i said we're gonna essentially be building the same die uh, sorry the same bird what it does by die cutting and um, fussy cutting some of these pieces is you can, I don't know if you wanted to add a bit of dimension, add some foam pads, um, it does allow you to do that but again possibly for ease it might be easier to just stamp as a single layer like I did previously but again there's all these different options of how you can create your birds but you can see just how easy these are coming together so again now just add in the beak we've added that headpiece as well um, the extra piece that I didn't um, create for that uh, flat version is that tail so again you can um, stamp that and then just use the die cut to die cut it out so now again I'm just attaching that tail to the bird so I'm just working out the placement again like I said using the packaging um, even if you did these in different colors you if there was a particular bird how you wanted it to be um, kind of laid out you could still use then the layouts that they show you uh, but you know you can just change the colors use your imagination sort of you know create whatever you want really so now I'm just adding that wing to it again and then the last piece we've got to pop onto this is that last blue piece which is just going to be that extra little bit of detail on the top of that wing and then that's this bird created um, and again they don't look any different but I would say that maybe stamping it as a single layer is probably easier than sort of putting all these pieces together. But here's then a closer look at the two birds and you can kind of just see all of that really lovely detail um, and for that top one I did add another nouveau drop uh, just to the eye. So now for the last bird uh, we're going to be using the outlines so just the outlines uh, stamps here and we're going to be using some alcohol markers to colour these in. So again, I've picked out all of the stamps that I need. I'm just stamping this with some Memento Tuxedo Black uh, ink here, which is a alcohol friendly ink. And I'm using sort of different colors. We're now creating the finch. Um, to me, this ends up looking more like a pigeon. Um, but I try to then copy all of the, the different markings and the different colors uh, that you would get if you used uh, the different stamps that are in the set. So the colours that I'm using here, um, so I've got the dark red shades which I used for the beak and then I end up stamping that little bit of extra detailing on the face. We've got the uh, brown grey blend, I've got the red 
brown blend that's really hard to say red brown blend and then i've got the earth brown blends and shades pens as well so again try to sort of match the colors as best i could so the first color for the top of the body that has been the uh, brown gray blend and then underneath that it's obviously a little bit of a, um, a warmer brown shade so i used a red brown and I'm just doing a tiny bit of shading on here, nothing sort of too dramatic really, um, because I want to add a little bit of uh, detailing with a white gel pen at the end, again, just to kind of replicate some of those markings that are on the bird. And I'm sort of taking my time to, like I said, try to get the different pieces um, of the body sort of together. So the one thing I did do, you can see here, is I used my alcohol marker actually on the stamp itself to stamp that bit of cheek detail. This actually worked really well. It's not something that I think I've done before with my alcohol markers, but I thought I would try it. I don't know how well it would work uh, if I was to stamp the other uh, stamps, the more detailed stamps with it. I'm not really sure, but I guess that would work as well if you wanted to add that extra detail. But like I said, I end up adding the detail just with a white gel pen um, and it just it just sort of fills in some of those areas a little bit so then for the wings for the main part this is where i'm bringing in that darker earth brown um, and again just some really basic shade in there that stamp right at the bottom and um, i didn't end up needing that one as part of this bird um, so i don't end up using that piece but you can see that i'm just then going back onto the main body of the bird and just adding some more of those details then for the uh, tail itself, um, that's where I brought back in um, that brown grey, uh, this one I used the shades for, so just to give it a little bit of variety, just made it a little bit darker. So you can see there that I just fussy cut these out again, um, so I'm going right up to the edges here, I'm not leaving any sort of white gaps or anything like that, um, and then again it's going to be just as easy to put this bird together um, as it is for the others, mainly because there are only four separate pieces here. But just finish cutting that out, and then again I'm going to use my purple tape runner just to attach these together. So we've got this piece here is going to sit on top of that brown wing that we created. And again, it's just creating a little bit of layer. It's just giving it a little bit more of a realistic look. So then we can attach the tail. So again, depending on what kind of bird you're creating, depends how then you're going to sort of angle different pieces. So for the blue tit, the tail was kind of facing down. Um, but for this finch, pigeon, whatever, um, I'm going to say it's more like a pigeon, it's kind of more angled up. So again, that will sort of differentiate between other birds. So the last thing we're going to do, like I said, is just use my, uh, this is a jelly roll pen. And I added just some really basic details here. So again, if I was going to be using this for, my pro uh, for a project, I probably would take a little bit more time to be a bit more accurate. Here's a look at all four of the birds that I have made in this video. So like I said, I lost the footage in my first video. That's why I thought it was important to sort of come back and show you how I actually created the bird for that video um, and how to just create the other ones. And really the instructions and the um, sort of how to make guides with the colors and things is really useful on the packaging. And I really wanted to sort of share that with you guys in more of a visual way. So hopefully you have found it um, helpful maybe you know go and create some birds and just sort of have a play around and hopefully I've given you some other ideas on how you can create these birds in different ways maybe just to get different looks or you know perhaps you don't have colored ink pads but you have colored cardstock maybe that's something you're more interested in you know you can still create these birds in that way using that medium and maybe the same with the alcohol markers if you really love coloring you can still create a bird with your alcohol markers on this set so like i said i hope you found it useful let me know in the comment section down below um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below it's greatly appreciated if you aren't a current subscriber to my channel then please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any future uploads on screen now you will see a couple of other videos that i think you might be interested in if you want to check those out so thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.